I experienced lots of anti-Semitism before the war. I lived in a bad city, Kielce in Poland. I had to fight my way to high school almost every day and going back home. There was a beautiful city park and in 1935 there were signs on the city park, Jews and dogs not allowed. We knew plenty about Hitler and the Nazis. We knew about Kristallnacht, and even before that, how the Gestapo treated the Jews. We heard speeches that Hitler made on the radio. We understood every word he said, but we never thought that he would come to Poland with his SS troops. When the Nazis came in, I was 16, I was a junior in high school. The bad memories are imprinted on the pages of my brain. Memories of roundups and arrests. They confiscated my parents' business. Seven Gestapo men came in, took away the keys, locked the doors from the store. After that, the Gestapo came back with a trustee. He was a German, and he took over the business. In 1940, there was a roundup that says picked up young men, a neighbor of ours, two young ladies, screamed to the SS and pointed a finger at our house and they were screaming, you there. So the SS came into our house and took me and my two brothers to the assembly place, the big synagogue. They assembled 600 young men. We were there two days and they took us to the train station, put us in kettle cars, 80 people in a kettle car, and transported us to Lublin. Lublin from Kielce is about 120 miles. The trip take a whole day. They closed the doors and the little windows, and it was hot, it was terrible. But we were young, mostly young people, between 16 and and when we arrived in Lublin, they took us out from the boxcars and we had to march. Assessment from both sides with machine guns and whips. And my brother was dressed up very fancy. And then assessment beat him with a whip quite a few times. We were running to the assess barracks. We had to run, not walk. And when we arrived in the assess barracks, he took off his shirt and his back was black, bloody from the whips. Those SS barracks were a transit camp at that time in 1940. In 1941, those SS barracks became Majdanek, an extermination camp. 